Hey everybody, Ashton here with Gen Scent, and today we are finally going to do the giveaway for the full bottle of Pure Tonka by Terry Mugler. The bottle you will receive is here. So stick with me. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe. We'll also go over the next big giveaway, which is at 10,000 subscribers. You'll need to stick with me here because when I get to the end of the video, that's where I'll go over what you need to do in order to enter to win this bottle. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, that's when we'll do a giveaway for a full bottle of Creed Virgin Island water. It's a 120 ml bottle, full four ounces, never been sprayed. So that's a pretty big giveaway. Uh, the quicker we get there, the quicker I can get that bottle to one of you out there. I'm not going to go over the presentation here. I mean, if you've seen Amen presentations, you know what you're looking at here. Here is the Pure Tonka box. It's an Amen box. Here is the bottle. It's an Amen bottle. You pretty much know what they look like. The only difference ever is kind of the texture on the rubber on the outside, the color of the star, the color of the juice. Everything else is pretty much the same. Mmm. It's really sweet off the top, it's warm. There's a good amount of Tonka, which you would expect because, I mean, it's pure Tonka. There's a caramelized coffee kind of vibe going on. Uh, there's also a little bit of lavender. There's vanilla, cacao. So it gives you this really cappuccino slash latte vibe off the top. At least that's what I get. It's uh, like a Tonka coffee kind of scent. The dry down's not as sweet, not as in your face. There's a little bit of a dusty patchouli vibe in here. And if you're familiar with the Amen line, then you'll know what I'm talking about. It's that same patchouli note that kind of gets tied in with most of the Amen flankers that links them together. It's that Amen DNA uh, that gets talked about. There's also a creamy vanilla note. That goes along with Tonka for most of that dry down. It's a, a really gourmandy fragrance. It's like a gourmand lover's dream, if you would. It smells almost like a caramel latte. I know I keep bringing that up, cappuccino, latte, but that's a lot of the vibe that I get with this one. So that's just the easiest way for me to describe it to you. It's in the same vein as Bon Number 9 New Harlem and to a lesser extent, Feve Delicious by Christian Dior. Um, between those two though, it's much closer to New Harlem and that's where it has that kind of syrupy sweet gourmandy vibe that you get through the entirety of the fragrance. Those two share that trait. This is a cold or cool weather fragrance. So this is better for winter, better for fall. This isn't really something that works that well in high heat because of how syrupy, sweet, and strong it is. You don't really want to choke everybody out around you. So, at least in my opinion, this is better suited for your cooler and colder weather outings. The fragrance itself is not offensive, so don't worry about people thinking you smell gross or anything like that. Uh, but it is on the stronger side of things as far as designer releases go. So the projection is going to be good for the first three hours or so. Uh, longevity, you're looking at 10 plus hours, so you don't want to overspray and uh, choke everybody out around you, especially if it's somebody that's overly sensitive to fragrances, like if you're in an office and you have people that are sensitive to fragrances, don't go heavy on the trigger with this one. Just spray it on a few times and you'll be good to go. As far as I'm concerned, this is a very good release. I would not put it above Pure Havan or Pure Malt, but those two are usually talked about as being the best from the line. It would probably make a top five Mugler Amen list. I'll probably sit down and do that at some point, but off the top of my head, I'm thinking that it would have to slot in somewhere in the top five. So for me, it's a very good release, but not necessarily something that I would say is a great release. Let's just hit a couple pros and cons before we wrap this up. Uh, one of the pros is the performance. It's got very good performance. Uh, it lasts, it projects. There's nothing that you can say negatively, at least for me, for the performance. It's a good gourmand fragrance. Um, it's got a great coffee tonka feel. I really enjoy it. So the fragrance itself to me is a pro. Now a few cons. Uh, the sprayer sucks. All Amen sprayers suck. I mean that's just the way it is. You have to press down really hard. You usually don't get a great stream of juice. A lot of people will cut into the sprayer here to make it easier to press down, make it easier to get more juice out. But as it comes, the sprayer sucks. Another thing that's kind of a drawback is that some of the Mugler fragrances in the Amen line, like Pure Havan, Pure Malt, 
pure coffee, uh, now pure tonka, can be difficult to find at discounters for a cheaper price. So if you're looking to pick this up on the cheap, sometimes it's hard to locate a bottle for under $65, $70. And with discounters making fragrances much more affordable, especially designers, that can be a drawback. And the last drawback would be how sweet it is. And that's dependent completely on the person. For me, it does not bother me. So this one is conditional. If you don't like sweet fragrances, very sweet fragrances, then this probably won't be up your alley because it does lean heavily toward the sweet side of things with the tonka, the vanilla, and even that coffee giving it kind of a cappuccino vibe. It's almost syrupy sweet at times. If you don't mind sweet fragrances though, then this one shouldn't bother you. All right guys, to be entered into the giveaway for the full bottle of Amen Pure Tonka, just let me know what your favorite Amen release is and your least favorite Amen release. It can be any of them, uh, it can even be B-Men, so we'll include that one too. If you've never smelled any of them, that's fine, just let me know that as well. Um, make sure you only enter once, and do put in the comment that you want to be entered, because if you don't put that you want to be entered, then if you get selected, I'll have to just go to the next person. So those are the rules, uh, only enter once, favorite, least favorite of the Amen line. If you've never smelled it, that's fine, just let me know, and say you want to be entered. All right, guys, thank you for your support, for helping me break 5,000. Once we hit 10,000 subscribers, there will be a full bottle giveaway of Virgin Island Water. I have it sitting right over there, waiting for 10,000 subs. Uh, there will be more giveaways in between now and then, like usual, you know, here and there. I'll just pop out a video and have a giveaway on there for you guys. But uh, yeah, thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please do. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.